going to go ahead and um, get us started. And um, on my screen, Mike, you are up first, then Angie, then Sean. So we'll do those three 30-second um, commercials. Hey, guys. Mike Hassett. I'm a business lawyer. My law firm, Jones Hassett, is a full-service business law firm. We can help you with everything from incorporating your business uh, to, uh, to your multi-billion dollar merger with Bill Gates. Um, we, we do have a heavy emphasis on real estate law. I helped Robert with some, uh, some real estate issues and that's why he was, uh, he was talking me up last week. So, uh, appreciate all of you for being here. Mike Hassett, Jones Hassett. Hi everybody, Angie with Digital Corporate Companies, um, your full service printing company, corporate gifts, apparel, and promotional items. We are having a big, big sale on masks. So the um, blue masks that come 50 per box are now 59 cents a piece um, with the 50 per box. And then the KN95 masks are $1.97 with 10 pieces per, per package. So if you need anything like that, give me a call. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks, guys. Hey there, Sean Reckemeyer, Elite Health Plans. I'm having a bad hair day. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, I've got your health plans uh, ready to go for the open enrollment that we got here. If you need some individual coverage, uh, we have on and off marketplace plans as well as small group plans that uh, I'm looking into some new ones that are coming out here for this year and uh, trying to help you guys get uh, all your needs covered. And I just want to say thanks to everybody for being here and uh, hopefully we'll have a great year. Great, thank you so much. And can I have uh, Sean Abbott, then Amanda Falcon, and then David with Colors Professional Floor. Thank you for specifying. This is Sean Abbott with Our Infinite Company. Every teacher in Texas is set for the pension, but not one of them knows how to do it properly. I can help you with, help them understand that. Moreover, if you, got employees with 401ks or whatever savings programs, I could show you how to set it up so that after they retire, they get income for life. This is Sean Abbott with Our Infinite Company. Thank you for your time. It's good to see you, Sean. Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Falcon, and I represent McKnight Insurance Services. Uh, we uh, are, we have over 70 years of experience in uh, combined insurance experience with homeowners, uh, with personal and uh, commercial. So if you know anyone that uh, is having an event and needs uh, insurance uh, in the spring or in the summer, uh, send them our way. Once again, my name is Amanda Falcon with McKnight Insurance Services. Let McKnight shield you from life's little mishaps. Good afternoon. This is David Berg with Colors Professional Floor Care. We clean everything you put your feet on and a whole lot more. Dryer vents, air vents, water extractions. We had the very best week we've ever had since I bought the company. We're all exhausted. Thank you for everybody that referred us. Uh, I hope we got to your people. If not, I'm so sorry. We were running about 30 jobs behind every single day. David Berg, Colors Professional Floor Care. Thank y'all so much. All right, thank you so much. And um, let's go with DJ King, then Joni Wilson, and then Bo Bearden. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. DJ King here with DJ Services and Event Rentals. As you can see in the background or in my backdrop, that's what I do. Make the event look the way you want it to look like. Uh, we provide up lighting, decoration services, and DJ services. And if you need any of those services, uh, I think get in touch and we get you going. Get in the right direction. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Joni Wilson here at Susser Bank, formerly known as Affiliated Bank. I'm the Banking Center President here in Arlington. Uh, the Susser family has been with us for almost three years now, so we're in a process of rebranding and growing, and I think I've mentioned we've opened a Dallas branch and a San Antonio branch. Those are loan offices right now, uh, so we're um, just excited 
to, to be growing. We've been working a lot on PPP loans. So, and there's more changes coming. So that's the ever-changing world of the government, but we're out there to help folks uh, get through this pandemic and other snow apocalypses. Uh, but been in banking 39 years. I'm here to, to help with your commercial loan needs. So give me a call, Joni Wilson, Susser Bank. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Bo Bearden here with Cloud9 Voice. We provide a unified communications and collaboration platform for small to enterprise businesses. So if you're a small business with one to two users or a larger business with 50 to 100 users that need communication services, we can handle that for you with unlimited local and long distance calling. We give you uh, web collaboration. So complete access to your phone system via uh, your laptop, your PC, uh, mobile app, tablet app, uh, active fax server, um, staff chat, and full presence of your staff, um, file transfers, desktop sharing, video and web video conferencing, uh, call recording and call detail reporting. Uh, drop a line and join Cloud9. Awesome. Thanks so much, you guys. Um, next up will be Corey, Deb, and Shabana. Hello, Corey Calloway with Calloway Financial Services, your friendly financial advisor. Once again, it seems I'm tasked with helping a damsel with in distress. <clears throat> I uh, did a webinar a couple weeks back and there met a lady who uh, was dealt the worst possible hand I've ever seen out of a divorce. I won't go into any details, but through another friend who's an attorney that can help her, who has experience in this area, uh, we're going to try to get back some assets that were taken from her and more. Uh, but anyhow, outside of managing money, sometimes we help people find their money or assist, them, assist folks with other problems and try working through them so they can actually retire successfully and manage money through these crazy markets we're dealing with. But anyhow, no business is too small, no check is too large. Before you get away, call Callaway. Am I next? This is Deb. Hello? You're next. Yes, please. Okay. There we go. Can you hear me now? We sure can. Great. Hi, this is Deb Husted. Duncan Roofing Concepts is my company. I do residential and commercial roof replacement. Um, with all the snow we've had this past week, I've been having the semi guys out to check a few houses. Um, none of my previous jobs, these are jobs that for some reason I got referred to from next door. So that's kind of a plus. But anyway, Deb Houston, Duncan Roofing Concepts, we got you covered. Hi, uh, it's uh, Dr. Shabana Parvez from Arlington Integrative Medical Center, uh, where we blend the best of ancient wisdom with modern science and technology to help you take back control of your body's health. Um, we have, I have an announcement, we have rapid COVID-19 antigen tests, which so you can find out in 15 minutes if you have COVID-19 um, and it's uh, they're going to be $125 anyway, but DFW is doing them if you want to travel. I mean, like if you need proof quickly and you need and you're going to travel, DFW does them for like $249. So $125 here um, for COVID-19 tests. Thank you. Oh, terrific. Um, will you put that in the chat, please, Dr. Parvez? Um, and let's see, next up will be Heather and then Wendy. And um, then I guess I'll go. Hello, everyone. Heather at Southern Flare Photography here. Um, things are kind of hectic with us and a, a good reason uh, well not a good reason unfortunately is my grandfather uh, my grandmother passed away unexpectedly two weeks ago tomorrow um but it's a good story to tell because we were able to use one of the recent family images of her as her uh, we'll be using as her unfortunately obituary photo um so you know with every family 
session, we love to photograph individuals because you just never know when you're going to need a photo of that person. So uh, get those family portraits done, or even if it's just you needing to update your headshot, give us a call and we will be glad to help. Hi everyone, my name is Wendy. The company that I'm with is Adventurity Marketing Agency. We are a Google certified specialist and we specialize in helping your business with web design, SEO, and social media. One of the ways we do this is with our free online report. We analyze your website, your social media presence, and how you rank on Google to find opportunities to help your business grow. If you're interested in this free scan, you can email me after this meeting. I'll put my email in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. It's Becky with River Legacy Foundation. Um, at River Legacy, we help people fall in love with nature. And that is more important than ever. And I think uh, Dr. Parvez is a, a great advocate for that. But, um, you know, getting outside is good for you. And um, connecting with nature helps you uh, to have a happier personality and um, reduces your stress. It can even bring down your blood pressure. So that's pretty exciting. And you know what? We have a few more days of our arachnid exhibit. You have a chance to come this evening. We're having a little open house, no, no big snacks. Everything's a little contained and everything so that um, we can be safe. Masks will be worn from five to seven at the Nature Center at 703 Northwest Green Oaks. Come out and see us and um, see these arachnids before they go. It's more interesting than it sounds, right, Corey? It's a great exhibit, catch it before it's gone. We had a great time, thank you. Thank you. So y'all come out today. Let me know if you can come, Sean. Um, hopefully you can come out and I'll, I'll email everybody who um, has emailed me while I was on my last meeting. So thanks everybody. Becky with River Legacy Foundation. Okay. I don't think I've missed anybody, have I? Okay. Do we have some thank yous that everybody wants to go through? Just um, raise your hand and unmute yourself. If we have problems, I'll call on folks. Angie. Hi, everybody. Um, again, I want to thank Corey because he's working some magic for us and I really appreciate it. And um, Amanda with McKnight Insurance, we're doing some apparel for her. So thank you very much. And I think that's it at the moment. Thank you. I uh, want to thank uh, Angie for uh, coming, uh, coming through with a quote for me for some stuff that I'm looking at. And um, I think that's it right now that I can remember. Corey? A laundry list. Uh, Becky, again, thank you for the wonderful evening of looking at the spiders. It's very educational and really cool, y'all. I go. <clears throat> I also want to thank uh, Brian and Ruben for assisting me with some website te technical issues here and there. They did redo my website earlier this year. Then uh, Bill Montagna has replaced a coil at my office building. It uh, went out a few months ago. I wanted to get the AC to work once it gets cold or hot once again, excuse me. Then uh, Bo Bearden, we had a nice visit last Friday. I did make it over to his office through this treacherous snow and ice and uh, had a great visit. Appreciate that. And uh, Carol Hollows will be getting a referral from me because Lo and behold, I have a signed contract to sell my building. <laughs> Thank y'all. Wonderful. Any other thank yous before we go to Paul, who can do his 30-second um, commercial? Any other thank yous? Uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks to Corey for coming by the office last week. Uh, he did trek through the, uh, the snow to get over there and... Uh, but he's got a nice big truck, so he didn't have any concerns. <laughs> but I do appreciate him coming over and visiting with me and going over our services. Awesome. And I have a couple of thank yous. I'd like to thank Corey again. Corey's kind of uh, getting more points today than anybody um, uh, for coming out to our 
Tuesday open house and um, private tour and also Sam and Robert Blake. Um, they're not on the call, but they did come out to our private tour and all of you are invited to come out today from five to seven. I'm not there now, but I'm going there. So I'll see you there. If you can come, let me know. Um, any other thank yous? All right, let's go to Paul for your 32nd commercial. Paul Brody, take it away. Hey, Becky, thank you very much. Hey, guys. So kind of crazy this week. Um, I actually run in my own summit. So we've got the 2021 Get Published Summit. And just to share some very brief stats with you guys, for those that are curious about how summits do, we've had 181 sales, $12,500 in revenue, and we haven't even pushed any back-end offers yet with this, which we're doing Friday and then a live webinar next week for our summit service. And um, we've had 3,000 attendees. So it just shows how effective these can be. So if you get you know people in your network, in particular those in the medical field, attorneys, aspiring authors, um, this really is a game changer, and we've got the stats to back it up. Paul Brody with Brody Consulting, we help you share your story. All right. Thank you, Paul. That's exciting. That's so exciting. Um, okay. Well, we're really fortunate today because I believe that our uh, newest member still is uh, DJ King and... Um, we just have one more person coming in and um, let's see who that is. And DJ is going to be our speaker today. Oh, I see it's David coming back in. So David's already done his 30 second commercial. DJ, tell us about your um, business and if everybody, including me, will put us on mute, that'll be great so we can hear you the best. Okay, so let me see. Oh, okay, so... Um... DJ King here, uh, what we do, uh, I'm, uh, I'm basically a DJ company by myself so far because of the pandemic, I had to scale down. I had uh, other DJs working with me, uh, DJs that are trained to work with me, but because of the pandemic, we had to scale down and just be a one-man business for now. And then uh, what do we do? We provide DJ services, decor services, uh, and, and then our DJ services come with emceeing and the event, uh, the day of event coordinator. We also do decoration, ob lighting. As you can see in my um, in my screen there, in the backdrop, that is that is what we do. We do the decoration, the the pipe and drape, the everything that is related to an event. That we, we do that. We also offer. Um, screen walls like TVs around the, an event. If you have an event and you need some uh, montage uh, montage walls, we do provide that as well, which is basically TV screens we provide around the event venue so that people that are not at the center might be able to see what is going on in the, in the place. And then we also do rental services just in case you have like, if there is a need for a PA system, we do rent that as well. And also we do provide some, we do do some um, uh, uh, planning. Uh, when it comes to event planning, there are so many different aspects of it that uh, I think a DJ being the center of the event in terms of music coordination and all of that, uh, the planning, the planning centers most of the times around the, the DJ of course, the, the, the celebrant or whatever event it, it is, uh, is the center of the, the planning that the DJ, especially with parties, has to be uh, the main planner. Uh, the, the flu has to follow the DJ's plan. And then uh, my ideal people, the people, uh, ideal referrals will be weddings, anybody looking at trying to get married and looking for a fun, wedding party, refer them to me, that would be great. Engagements, I like to work with people from their engagements all the way to the weddings. And then uh, birthdays, if it's a birthday and you like music, you like the ambience, you like uh, decorations, up lighting, the planning, that would be an ideal refer. Anniversaries as well, uh, people do celebrate anniversaries and 
at times, especially uh, looking at this COVID uh, period, there are some people that were not able to celebrate their weddings because of the way uh, things are. We cannot gather, a lot of people cannot gather. But then if you're planning an, an anniversary, maybe next year, maybe a year after next, DJ King is here and we can make that happen. If we, you're going to have your party anyways. Okay, graduations as well. We also do uh, graduation parties, outdoor events. If you have a park event, an outdoor event that you will need li uh, music, not live music, that you need a DJ, we will be there to serve you. And also, um, in just, just any party that you would like to have fun at, a, a DJ would be a great addition and that would be me. And then the next question will be, why would you want to choose uh, King, uh, DJ King over other DJs? Well, I am a one-stop shop all. You, you stop with DJ King, we will plan your event from decoration to lighting, to everything, to the sound, everything will be there. And uh, the only things I, uh, I don't talk about with uh, when it comes to event planning will be uh, other services such as food, catering, that end I'm not, uh, I'm not really uh, familiar with. But when it comes to coordinating those things on the day of the event, that they are there on time, everybody is there on time and set to go within their uh, itinerary, that everybody follows the time, the time that is set for the event, I will be the person to do that as your DJ and event planner as well. And then another reason why you would like to choose us of our other DJs is I'm, I'm not just coming out there with a set price. I work within your budget. There, I've done, uh, we've done events with uh, weddings with about 600 people. And we've also done weddings with 30 people. So I'm not just coming to be like, oh no, we are $1,000. No, if, you, if your budget is 300 and you just need a couple of people, you just need a few people at your, at your event, you will work with that and get it going. If you, are, if you are expecting a crowd, a, lot, a whole lot of people, we can work with that as well. And uh, yes, that's basically, that's pretty much what I do. And um, <laughs> I know I'm pretty new to the group and uh, I'm learning a lot. I have, I've not had the opportunity to do such presentations in the, in the past and I'm going to learn a lot from, from this group. And uh, I think at this point, if anybody has a question, I'll be very happy to answer. So I've got two things. One, I love your background. And secondly, do you offer, um, and I may have missed this, but you offer any type of virtual services? Virtual services? No, for now, I do not have the, the equipment to do that. I was talking with Britt uh, the other day. He said he, he, he has found a resource that we can work on and be able to do virtual services that we are still to meet up and go over uh, his ideas about that. Yeah, that was similar to kind of the question I was uh, thinking about uh, in terms of uh, you do mostly lighting and sound, but not like a camera. For example, if we wanted to do some sort of virtual broadcast and needed a, a camera or like a little studio set up with the right lighting, you don't do that? No, that I, I don't. Photography camera settings are, I'm not really savvy in that direction. But when it comes to sound, yes, I will be there to help you with that. What about music? What, what types of music okay. do you do or don't do? So in that light, I, when it comes to your event, we will sit together and discuss the type of music you will like. I do, I'll say I'm open format. And I also have other DJs that are from other countries that if I am not really versed with your music, I will have somebody that will take care of that for you. So I do all music types. Thank you. And then uh, Steve. Okay. I have a question for you. Um, so um, on the backgrounds and the lights, you rent um, the backdrops and things like that? The pipe and drips, yes. Pipe and drips. I knew there was a name for it. <laughs> yes, it's pipe and drips. So uh, 
it's, it's just that I, I'm not able to do like a presentation where I can show you like the before and after pictures of the venue. They are pretty, the, the venue is, was pretty blank, like nothing in there. But then sitting and talking with the client, we're able to come up like, okay, this is what I need. And then we get that going. It's, I do, I do that. And when you go out to a, a place, um, I'm, I'm at River Legacy. Hope you'll come out and visit me. But we have, um, Paul, you may have to help me describe this. Um, it, it's a rock floor. And so we have some trouble with our acoustics in there. Is that something that if you could come out and be in the space, you would make recommendations about how to have people heard? With the acoustics, yes. Uh... I will have to be there to see where you can place what to make people hear it. Yes, I have to be there because, uh, like you mentioned, ac acoustics is is very important too. Like speaker placement, when we go out to these venues, you have to really think about okay, if I put this here, who is it going to be able to hear it where? And then the echo and all of that, we look at that and then decide on where to put them. And yes, yeah, just. I, just to add on Becky's question, you know, the acoustics in there are very unique. So there may need to be some sort of cushioning or foam or something to be put in certain areas just to emphasize the acoustics in the room. Okay. Yeah, that's that's something we, I can stop by and look at. But uh, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know the situation in there. Like if I stop in there, we might be able to look at recommendations and things to do to make it better. And also, do you do outdoor um, sound? Yes, I do do outdoor. I've done uh, uh, events at the park and like several times at the park and it went all went great. Okay. With about 600 people. So I'm awesome. pretty confident when it comes to that. Yes. I think um, maybe Deb had a question, but she has disappeared. Oh. Does do we have any other questions for DJ King? I see Debbie's back. I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I, was, I was pushing buttons here. I oh. didn't want you guys to see me blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry to have uh, drawn so much attention to that, but... <laughs> um, uh, hey, everybody, it looks like our friend Dick Gann has come on. Um, if I, if we don't have any other questions, I really appreciate the presentation, DJ King. Thank you so much and welcome to our group. Um, yeah. And we're really glad you're here. Um, one other thing is, you know, tell us your, um, where your advertising is. Um, one of the things that we do is we try and do Google reviews for one another. Is that a place that you're looking for support? Yes, I do have a Google business page. I, I am, I am present there. Okay. Go there, search for DJ DJs in Arlington. I should be like the third DJ down the line, or just search DJ King, and I should be there. You should really right. Find me. I'm also okay. going to drop a link so that it's just click and go, and you should be able to get to it. Perfect. Perfect. Um, okay. Um, thanks so much, DJ. We appreciate it. Also, um, let's go to our friend Dick Gann, who uh, kind of snuck in very quietly uh, during uh, DJ King's uh, presentation. So go ahead and give us your 30-second um, elevator pitch, Dick. And if you have any thank yous, you can go right into those. Thank you, Becky. I uh, apologize for being late. Uh, they scheduled a physical therapy session that I thought was tomorrow and figured out yesterday it was today. So um, <clears throat> I'm Dick Gann with Keller Williams Realty. Uh, I've been with the Arlington Keller Williams since 2007. Uh, we're a family group. We represent from first time home buyer to uh, raw land. We set buy and sell a lot of land for people. Um, you know, we, we, we have some corporate clients that we buy and sell land for in addition to, we're primarily residential. And uh, uh, Carol Hallows gets a lot of our business. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate what you do for her, support her. Uh, 
you know, we, we're a, I always hate the word, the, the phrase full service, but with our background of 30 years in general construction and then becoming realtors, we really do have a background that provides service that your typical realtor can't provide. So I'll just leave it at that. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you so much. And um, our fearless leader is coming on right now, just in time for Sam to give us his 30 second um, pitch and any thank yous that you have, Sam. So take it away. Uh, I'd like to thank Becky for, uh, for taking over this meeting with 10 minutes notice. That was very kind of her. Um, I realized I was double booked, but uh, I'm going to forego my, uh, my 30 second commercial today. I'm going to extend it as a, as thanks to William. Uh, he was in my attic this morning, uh, getting our house above 64 degrees. So thank you, William and climate experts. So thanks, Becky. Thanks, William. Did you buy him pizza too? <laughs> I did not buy him pizza. He left at 10 o'clock. So, um, if he just if he'd have been here around here midday, he would have received pizza. My standard uh, tradesman's tip. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Well, um, I was uh, not prepared, and um, as Sam mentioned, um, so I don't have any information about any um, chamber activities that are coming up this week. I know well, that I'll, chamber I'll, receives I, some damage. Yes, we have a Inspired Women's event on March the 6th. We have a State of the City on March 11th. We have a meet and greet with the new um, with the new members on 3-1. So coming early March, we have several events. Sam, is that State of the City going to be in person or virtual? Virtual. All these events are virtual. And then the State of the County is on April Fool's Day, so insert your own joke here. So you're up to on your own joke there. So Becky, um, that's the events from as far as I know of the, the chamber. Are we ready to go on with our speaker? We've had our speaker. Oh, we have. Okay. We've had our speaker. Okay. Um, and you're sorry you missed it. I tell you that because it was really good. Um, yeah, I was looking forward to it. I thought uh, my generation needs to be exposed to a DJ for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, so we've done all of our blocking and tackling. Okay, um, when we had our elections back in the fall, one of the things we said we'd like to do is to uh, um, give each other's thirty second speeches. Uh, in order to spur one-on-one -on -one meetings. And also we learn more about uh, each other's business. And so what I would like to do, I would like to have a draft here. And Becky's name is, a, is the hostess. And I'm gonna call on Becky, whose 30 second pitch would you like to do that for next week? So you get a um, pick. I would like to do this is exciting. Um, I would like to do um, Angie Woods. Okay, she, so she's going to do digital. So will you will you keep up with this for us, uh, Yes, just so we can. Second. Let me get another piece of paper. Okay, my next on my list is Corey Calloway. Corey, who would you like to draft? I'm trying to decide. <clears throat> so many people to choose from. Well, the, the only complaint we had about this last time is that sometimes it was spur of the moment, and this time we're giving everyone a week to prepare. So, uh, I think it'll be it'll spur one on ones and all that good stuff. Let's see here. I'm gonna do Michael Hassett. Michael Hassett, great. I'll next do we have hey, Dr. Sam. Marvez. Sam, just real quick, I won't be on the call next week, so please do not include me on either end on this. Unfortunately, I got a call I can't miss. Okay, thanks for telling, giving us a heads up. Dr. Hey, Marvin. Sam, same, same here, Sam. I will be in Colorado on vacation. Okay, well, thanks for the heads up. Dr. Parvez? All that, Heather. Dr. Parvez, who would you like to represent next week? I can do Corey. Corey Calloway, great. I can That's a very good picture of you also. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Amal and Miss Amanda, who would you like? Um, I 
Hello, I would like to do Miss Heather Lee. Okay. Uh, we're not going too fast for you, are we, Becky? I'm okay. Okay. Uh, this new member we have here, Colors David. <laughs> Mr. David. Are you in a Am any new? relation to Larry David? I like Larry David. He's pretty funny. I did. I He's like a him jerk, also. though. He, I love that show, but he is a jerk. Um, I'll do you, Sam. Oh, great. Well, let's, well that means we have to have a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you picked the time. Yeah. Okay. I'll send you. A, I'll send you an email on that. Okay. Me, okay. One of our new. One of our newer members, Deb. Wow. Um... I need to have some one-on-ones with some of these other folks that I'm not as familiar with. And since Corey's already taken, how about I will do Dick? Dick Ann. Ah, our, our new members are ganging up on us. I smell a coup. <laughs> so David, Dick Gann, do you want to just reverse the whip and go with uh, Deb? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, awesome. It's so much better than mine anyway. <laughs> Next on my list, I've got DJ King, and, and I apologize for missing your uh, missing your presentation. I'll, let's schedule a one-on-one -on -one in order for me to catch up, okay? Okay. Sounds good. So who do you want to who do you want to pick? Um I'd like to go with Angie, Angie Woods. Uh she's already picked by oh, uh she's already picked our okay. Huh. Who is not picked just yet? Uh doesn't look like it looks like Amanda hasn't been picked. Looks like uh Becky hasn't been picked. What Joni? Joni hasn't been picked. Joni? Heather? Both of our Sean's are available, I believe. Okay. Go with Sean Abbott. Sean Abbott. Yeah, Sean Abbott. Gotcha. Right. Okay, next I'm looking at uh, Heather. Um, it may be me next week. It may be dad. So I don't know because, you know, our schedules are kind of full at the moment with family. But I'm going to go ahead and say Joni because I'm sure dad will be having to call her this next week or so. Great. Great. And I'm, is, is Joni on the call? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Joni, you want to just take... Heather, to make life easy? Did somebody already get Heather? I have Heather. Oh, OK, I'm sorry. I'll do uh, Becky. Great, our friends at River Legacy. Is that a nice new office you got there, Joni? Yes, sir. I'm going to have to start saluting you. <laughs> OK, I, who, Mike Hasick, who are you going to take? I'll take Sean Rackemeyer. Sean, okay, perfect. This is, this is okay. like a playground kickball, right? I, I, I thank Corey because I was usually picked last, you know. <laughs> okay, now this has been a very uh, haphazard draft that I've had put together for us here. Does anybody not have a dance partner? Speak now or forever, I'm hold your peace. I, I'm still unpicked, right? I think. Well, I haven't picked yet. I just wanted to make sure. I'd, yeah. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to do, uh, present you, Dr. Parvez. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I haven't been picked. Me neither. Okay, who who are the two? Amanda and who else? Wendy. Oh, okay. I haven't picked and yet. Angie and Angie. And oh, I thought Angie got picked early. Yeah, but I haven't picked anybody. Okay. All right. If we have an odd number, it's going to be we'll we'll just have to figure out somebody that um, might have to give two or so. Okay. Why don't we? Uh, Can I pick? Let me call on some people, Sam. Um, how about Angie? Who are you going to do? Um, I'll do Amanda. Amanda. And and David Curtis is usually good at attendance, so he we probably had to assign him somebody, right? Okay. Have that's a good idea. Um, Bo, have you been picked? No, Bo's out of town. Bo's going skiing and leaving in the poor folks here in Texas. What about Sean Reckemeyer? Have you picked somebody yet, Sean? I'm gonna take DJ King on my down left here. 
All right, DJ King. Good. And um, let's see. I'm going to name the people who I have who are presenting somebody. If your name is not called, you need to pick somebody. Um, I've gone Corey, Dr. Parvez, Amanda, David, Deb, Dick, DJ King, Heather, Joni, Mike, Sean, Reckmeyer, Sam, Angie. Those people have chosen someone. Has everybody chosen somebody? Sean uh, Abbott and Wendy. So Sean Abbott and Wendy. Wendy, you go first. Who do you want to? Um, um, who's still available? If you're available, raise your hand. Oh, is it just David? Okay, I'll do David. Great. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Sean Abbott. Is anybody available? Um, how about David Curtis? Sure. Sean, you look nice today. Thank you, got a meeting at one. Hey, well, we you don't want to make you late. Noon. Yep. <laughs> what are we, chopped liver? No, <laughs> yeah, I'm that, kidding you. I'm kidding you. That's a reason to. Um. Okay. Did is is everybody pitching and receiving? Is everybody paired up? Awesome. Big Wendy? now. Yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Nobody has picked me. So. Okay. How about David Curtis? Okay. That'll be one of those per perfect matches, right? Each pitching each other? Uh, no. Um, okay. Doesn't matter. Um, I knew he was confused. Wendy is going to um, present for David Burr. Oh, okay. I need Mr. King's contact info. If you can chat, send it there. Just put it on general. We all need it probably. I'm sending it to her right now. Okay. And um, his email is in the email that I sent today. Okay, and uh, could you send me the email? Uh, I've already forgotten the name. Her and doing two things. The email for person I'll be for David Curtis. David Curtis, please. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. I want if I'm going to be pitching for him, I, I want to schedule an appointment so I can learn more about his business. Definitely, definitely. Okay, that sounds great. Um, can I kind of do a general announcement, Sam? Absolutely. Okay, great. Um, I put it in the um, email for today, but it's um, time for the Arlington Today voting um, uh, for the All Stars. And um, Heather, I know, um, has uh, won, uh, River Legacy has won part, but there are so many categories and we'd like to support each other this way. Um, we made some big inroads into um, becoming all stars, I think last year when we all voted for each other. So um, mm -hmm. if you guys will send me the number category, and if you want to say what it is that you would like to ask our networking group to vote for you for, I will compile those. Um, my understanding of the way it works is you can vote once per, um, per email, email address. Yeah. Email address. And um, but yeah. once you go on, you can't just vote for some and then come back on your same email address and vote again. So we want everybody to go on and um, get the numbers that they want so that we can send out a big email and all vote for those folks at that time. Now, I'm not forcing you and there's no coercion here, but um, you know, these are your networking friends and this would be a uh, easy way. And I believe that every time you vote, you get in a drawing that um, Arlington Today has. So woohoo, if you could send me those on email, Becky N for nature at riverlegacy.org, um, then, I will compile that list. What do you mean by numbers? Um, so categories. Categories are listed by numbers. So um, you know, 
for us, favorite park would be um, a number on, on the list. So we go to Arlington Today's website? Yeah. Yes, um, okay. I can put the voting website on there, but like you'd have to go on from your private, your personal email to get all the numbers for your category for your business. Do you okay. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you can vote, but then we'll do a vote for everybody also. Just, just so you know, when we first started doing this at Arlington today, uh, there's a certain burger restaurant that had all their patrons slam the box and they won it like two or three years in a row. So with numbers, you can do something. And um, it's, it's a great way for the people of Arlington and the surrounding areas to um, learn about your business, I think, and um, just see you in, in different categories or um, categories is the only word I can think of. Is there a different word? Um, Heather, what have you guys won? Oh, we've actually come in um, honorable mention. We've never won. We've come in honorable mention like two years in a row. And um, photography, family photography. Uh, just photographer. Photographer. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, like for us at River Legacy, we, we do win a uh, favorite park um, and we love that. But there are a couple other categories that I would really like for us to um, be noted in. Um, that I'm going to put out there uh, and see if maybe we can move the needle on some of those. I still don't see categories. Well, we have a few minutes. We have a few minutes left. Uh, does anybody else have any uh, more announcements? That's we have a little bit of a luxury of time. Uh, we should probably make sure you have your one on ones either via phone or zoom or or dare I say, face-to-face -face, uh, before we present each other's businesses next week. So I'm, I'm excited about that. We we're having a chance to, to really uh, learn more about each other's business and how we can help each other's business. So I'm gonna open the floor up to anybody. Any other questions or comments before we uh, go back to business? Well, once again, I wanna thank Becky for taking over this meeting for me on a full 10 minutes noticed. And uh, it was really just a, a trial by fire. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm going to try to advocate uh, power here. Maybe that's what we need to do. <laughs> but uh, okay, well, if no one has any more comments, I guess we can end this thing up a little early. I'll, I'll stay on for a couple more minutes if anybody wants to talk uh, semi privately. So everybody have a good day, have a good week. And let's stay safe out there, okay? Bye. Bye. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Um, Sam, while you talk amongst yourselves, I'm going to try and um, copy some things off of the chat. Um, but it's on my computer, so I hope I don't mess anybody up. So I, I don't. If you mess anybody up, I think we can get them out of the ditch. <laughs> okay. And Becky, you will send that link to the Arlington today. I went to the magazine and I'm, maybe I'm a dork and I can't find the, the category list. I don't believe you're a dork, but I will send it for sure. I Angie, if you were a dork, for that. Angie, if you were a dork, you would have figured it out. <laughs> well. <laughs> you're one of the cool kids if you're not real high tech, come on. <laughs> so how does that process the work for this whole all-star thing? How does that even work? I, I mean, I've seen the little, plaques at restaurants and some of that stuff thing. How do you get nominated? How do you even go in Basically, that direction? People go online and put your name in the box. That's and it. you have a bunch of people put your name in the box for the business, wherever it, that area that you want to be voted number one in. Hmm. Interesting. So it's, um, and they have a whole magazine um, devoted the winners. to the winners. Um, and, uh, uh, honorable mentions or second place. Mm -hmm. Do you have to pay for this at all? Because I know some of their stuff's no. pay to play. No pay. Okay. This is all okay. voluntary. People go online and they vote 
And we've had, like I mentioned earlier, a burger place that the first couple of years, they were number one because they got all their patrons to just slam the box. Hmm. So if you have some friends or a lot of friends, you can be number one. Oh, that's the ticket. Friends. Friends, <laughs> yeah. Well, it always helps. <laughs> associate on list to get some of those how about you sam yeah man i, I knew i was missing out on something <laughs> hey dj king if you can unmute what uh where are you located in arlington or whereabouts yeah i'm, I'm here in arlington off of 360 and uh what, what street name is this okay off of 360 and camp wisdom okay yeah. Oh, and, D and DJ, they called me from the chamber the other day. They said, is uh, is it okay for DJ to join your group? And I said, he's the guy that has the least conflict of anybody in the whole group. <laughs> I mean, he could fit in any group anywhere, you know? Uh, so, you know, of course they, they wanted to have a digital paper trail. So I sent him an email saying Dick Gann, Deb Houston, and DJ King are all new members of us. And I guess I was a little remiss there that, uh, while the other groups are shrinking, we're actually adding members. So thank you, Dick. Thank you, Deb. And thank you, DJ. All our new D members. Thank you. Dick, I, I Deb, and DJ. Before, before, we feel special. I know. Yeah. I know you. Next month, we're on to E. So uh, Everett, all your Everett's and Elliot's and Elvins can come along. Thank you. I did try to reach out other groups and uh, the respond the respond was not as fast as I, as I got from this one so I'm like that's because we're the best yeah just say that yeah <laughs> well, we're, not allowed, we're, we're not allowed to say that but uh, I'll, let me shut off the recording <laughs> <laughs> it's okay Corey didn't go well we're the biggest and the best so you didn't do that so we're good yeah <laughs> you said the best yeah, you know, it's funny. They always discourage all that competition. But when Henry has a meeting and mm -hmm. none of us say anything bo boastful like that, he's almost disappointed. He likes the co conflict. We can certainly stir it up. That's for sure. No, yeah. He, But he, he's ambivalent about that, I think, everybody. I, th I think my camera is... There's the link. I think my camera's messed up. It's adding 20 pounds in 20 years. I'm not sure how it does that, but <laughs> well, that's, if you that's the COVID-19. Let me know. Mine's yeah. doing the same thing. That's the reaction to the vaccine. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's the COVID-19. It's not 20 yeah, pounds. It's 19. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it's tequila. I think it's a filter. Uh, <laughs> There's well, a filter for that. <laughs> the lighting. Get that filter, yeah. As someone who has had both shots and ate the vaccine. <laughs> Well, what we used to say in college is something in the air or the water or the beer. <laughs> Probably the beer. Yeah. Well, um, I think I've got everything off of the chat and I'll put the Arlington Today stuff on. Um, do you think if I give everybody like a week to, to look on and see what you, what categories you want to be, um, request votes, yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah, because I mean, it makes sense to vote for all the people your one time you're going to be able to. And wow. if you're like me, I, I have three email accounts that I normally use so I can somewhat stuff the ballot box for our friends. Well, and you kind of have to go on if you don't know your categories, you have to go on on your personal email and see what categories you want to be listed in. And for me, you know, I can vote for the people in our group on the things that are most obvious, but um, you know, I know sometimes we want to branch out like I do at River Legacy. So, yeah, and Becky, the COVID those of you part. that haven't seen the arachnid uh, uh, thing, Corey and I were guests of, it, of Becky and them, and it's very good. So, it's tonight at five to seven for a yeah. private. Yes. Tour. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, I saw your email briefly, Sean, but um, we'd love for you to come out. Um, do you have any peanut allergies? Because I do have peanuts as possible. No, snacks. but I, I bring a bunch of monkeys with me. I've got five <laughs> of them. <laughs> so. 
Maybe Hopefully I could get y'all some bananas. Yeah, <laughs> if you get bananas and water, we'll be good. Yeah, I just got to see who all can make it. We got kids that are in high school. They're working half the time, so. Got to go, guys. Bye. Bye, Angie. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Talk later. Hey, Sam, I know we talked about bringing in some, not necessarily outside speakers, but some other speakers. I just noticed we have, I mean, besides Tom Vance, the next person who's actually booked is me, and that's in June. So we've got a ton of openings in regards to speakers. So I just want to ask about some of those ideas that we talked about months back about yeah. possibly bringing those speakers in. Yeah, there, uh, Paul, there was some chatter about that too, bringing in somebody's uh, mental health expert on uh, talking about how to, to deal with uh, the differences in your business with the, in the COVID environment. And we tried to get that person in for for soon or even uh you know so we're, we're trying to ink that up and uh you know it would seem like our new members would want to get on the docket i mean dj has already got on there uh so yeah he's the only one i guess we just need to double our efforts um and to get people signed up um, so dick no pressure no pressure dick at all <laughs> um and well, also, Dick could talk 20 minutes extemporaneously. I've got confidence. He could tell us about his his uh, weddings he's been performing on TV. There you go. Hey, Nick, you're me. muted. We can't hear you. Hey, Dick, if you can hear us, you need to unmute. We couldn't hear you. Sorry, there I guess I muted, muted it instead of unmuted. I said I'd be happy to spend a few minutes on weddings, but I'd rather talk about real estate and property tax. Yeah, well, that'd probably be more productive. The uh, link is well, in the chat box to sign up if you'd like to whenever you've got availability. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on finalizing my schedules for uh, property tax arbitrations, and those fall on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I'm, I'm close. I've, I've got about five more to get scheduled. And of course, I have to juggle those between the property owners and the uh, appraisal districts. So give me, give me just a little more time. Quick question here. How often can somebody present? Um, there's, no, there's no hard rule about that, DJ. Uh, and you know, at a, a group like ours, where we have 20 or 24 people, out of that group, four or five people never present at all. They just don't, that's not part of their nature. So um, I would say if the if the box is not filled up uh, in a few weeks, you, you could probably come back next month. Sounds good. I'd like to hear some music. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, we, we certainly don't want the same speaker every week or every month or every, all that type of thing. But if people aren't gonna sign up, uh, you know, we wanna fill the speaker slots. And, and for example, I mean, Becky could speak about River Legacy Park one week, talk about Nature School another month, and she could talk about uh, the, the work they do for fundraising for uh, the clay shoot or something like that. So, I mean, we all have different topics. We, and Paul, at some time, might want to uh, dedicate his speaking time to uh, rotaries or have a, a, a team event where you do a part of rotary, uh, Brian does a little talk on rotary, and Dave does it. So, so we're only limited by our, um, our, our perceived limitations. So, uh, well, let's I think just, that would be, just be creative. I mean, and I love that idea. Um, what I'd like to do, and Corey, chime in, please, on this because you've worked very hard on this is that I think that it would be nice if we signed up for maybe March the 11th and talked about our upcoming pistol shoot event that we're doing because Corey's been working his tail off on it. Corey's works with it. Robert Blake is working with it. Ruben's helping lead that process as well. So three members of this group are all very active in making this pistol shoot a success. So Corey, what do you think? I'd be happy to talk about it. I'm signing up for April 1st anyhow. Well, that's fitting for you. Okay, well, cool. Well, I, I just don't want the, the pistol shoot and the uh, clay shoot to to come to blows or arms I, against one another. These, these are two totally different things. It's Yeah. I understand. Kind of, can't you take a Sam joke? Just come being on Sam, now. Corey. Um, All right. My only thing with that is, is isn't it the, um, the 11th that might be the state 
it it may be we may that may be the one that we're changing our date that on. is the 11th we'll is state of the, the city it's a we'll state the 18th then yeah so well, what um, if we uh did somebody sign up for the fourth i don't according to paul nobody signed up for any the, the future ends oh wait a minute yes 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 tom vance has he was the only one that booked so Corey, our next spot would be the 18th. So let's, I'm going to book that one for us. Okay. That'd be fine. Yeah. Tom Vance is going to talk about his stuff on that day. That's the only thing I'm seeing. Um, do you think that I should um, put on the, um, the 11th? Do you want me to put that as um, we're not going to meet that day? I don't know. Let, let's talk about that. Would we rather have a, a nine o'clock Zoom meeting that one day, just a complete one off, or that'd be fine. Yeah, I'd like to do that because I'd hate to hate to lose a whole week because we always lose a week on Thanksgiving and we usually lose a couple weeks on Christmas and New Year's. So let's do that. Let's just reschedule that for nine o'clock. And if you can make it, you can make it. If you can't, you can't, right? Okay, I'll put that in the follow up too. Okay. And I don't know how to change the time on the sign up genius, but. Well, we'll David, have, um, yeah, David can adjust that. Um, I kind of showed him the ropes and how to do that stuff. And so did Brian. So he's got two years of vice chairs helping him out. So he can probably adjust that for you or okay. just put it in the comments, like sign up as an event and just put it in the comments. Yeah. Well, if David has any trouble, we'll get him back with our vice chairs or chairs of vice. So random thing, um, DJ, would you be interested in speaking at our Rotary Club? Uh, me, Becky, Corey on this call are all part of it. Sam was a speaker. I uh, would love to have you talk about, about your services and what you do, because I really enjoyed the talk. And it'd be something different and innovative, I think, for our club. Of course, yes. Every, every opportunity I get to talk about myself, uh, <laughs> about my business, I'll be very glad. I'll follow up with you, that. but um, if you could do Tuesday, March the 16th at 6.30, we meet virtually, and I'll send you all the details. But um, a lot of people in, the, in this group are part of Rotary, and Becky, Ruben, myself, Corey, and Robert, um, and the Woo, we're all part of the Highlands Rotary. So we'd love to have you talk at, with, at our club. Uh, virtually. Oh, you, question. When, yes, sir. When, when did I tell you that I would speak for your rotary? You said to hold off, but I penciled in April 13th as a hypothetical. I just put oh. um, tentative because I know your schedule was changing and March was not good for you. So I wanted to respect your time. Yeah, April's going to be best. I, I, I thought we talked about a date and I looked on my calendar and couldn't find it. So April 13th, the tentative, um, if that's okay with you, then I will send you a follow-up email. In fact, DJ and Dick, I'll send both of you guys emails probably right after you get off this call. Otherwise, I'll never get around to it. And then we can at least get those dates penciled in if that would be cool with both of you. So DJ, March 16th, and Dick, April 13th. Got it. I'm Corey, did you, my calendar. Corey, did Perfect. you want to uh, open up the complaint desk? Oh, uh, now or do you want to just call me? We can speak now. I just uh, was concerned. Uh, Sean, though I'd like seeing him again, I'd like to be a part of a group, was talking about 401ks and lifetime income, which sounds to me like he's selling insurance products. Mm. So I'll certainly stop on Kelly. Does Sorry. he have? Okay, I, I missed that, literally. Um, yeah, you want to hear. I, is he actually employed? Is he employed somewhere now? He named a company. Yes, he named a company. I didn't recognize it, but a phone call needs to be made to him and ask, what exactly are you doing? What are you selling? Uh, and it may be that he can't be here. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, Becky, what you raised your hand? Yeah, um, I asked him privately the name of the company because like Corey, it sent up red flags for me and um, I didn't hear the name of the company and I don't know what it is. It's called- like RBG R or something, I, it was a uh, initials. He said, it's our infinite company. It's been around for a couple years and it's tripled in size since COVID started. And we're looking to expand nationally this year. Okay, well, uh, has anybody got his contact information? I'll call him. He posted in the chat, I thought, didn't he? Yeah, okay. it's, um, it's at the very beginning. Sean.abbott10. Email, yeah. S-H-A-U-N dot Abbott10 at gmail.com okay 
And well, you I know, don't know, just so everybody knows, the normal the normal rules of engagement here are you get with the chair or one of the one of the leaders of the group and get your um, get your visit approved. That's the normal way we do these things. Now, former men, members can fly under the radar, as we all know. We've, well, we've seen that happen, happen today. Yeah. Right. And the and, other and, thing and, is, um, I'm sorry. I don't know that that company is part of the chamber. That's you know, another thing, yeah. Besides being Good in point. our group, we can only have, um, just so you know, DJ King, what we're talking about is um, you can only have one company per category in a leads group or a networking group. Um, so, you know, so don't... there'll be no more DJs. That's correct. We got the one DJ. You're our guy. You're our guy. We're locked in. Talking about Sean here, I'm supposed to pitch for him in the next in the next meeting. Okay. Okay. Well, let me, do, let me do this. Don't worry about it, DJ. I'll talk to Sean and then I'll get back with you regarding what we'll do. And, okay. and Sam, if um, Sean is not going to be part of the group, then we can reassign. Um, he was supposed to talk about David Curtis. OK, well, let's just do this. Uh, DJ, you, you've got colors carpet now, because we're just taking that away from Sean, because he's not a member of the group. At the, I'm just going to make that thing unilaterally. So DJ, you're now doing colors. Dave Berg, OK? OK. Hey, just as another note, um, I did finally get the updates from Lauren. So I've got the list of all the current businesses. Once this summit wraps up, I'm going to get on that probably over this weekend. So expect something from me probably Tuesday or Wednesday, Becky and Sam and David. Um, and then that way we can go from there and get this thing sorted. Um, I've just copied DJ's information, so I'll have that. We may need a little more info depending on the roster. But this should be as current as possible by the end of next week. Perfect. Hey, Paul, I really th appreciate your help on that. Uh, it really helps when other members that aren't officers of the group pitch in because it, it makes the group so that much stronger. Thank you so much, Paul. Hey, no problem. Glad to help. I, I know it's badly needed. And as I say, you know, this is all voluntary stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm a former vice chair of the group. Corey's a former chair. We know support is needed and we're here to support you guys. Right, Corey? If we were, yeah, if we yeah, were yeah, athletes, hey. you'd be an athletic supporter. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, hey, thanks for that as I um, get on my bike in a minute. I think I better leave on that one. Becky, what were these supposed to be used for? <laughs> Quote my dad, leaving a high note. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Corey, what'd you say? What were these supposed to be used for? They're just um, stationary for you to okay. um, have as a thank you. Those are the winners from our art contest last okay. year. And um, we made note cards out of them for you. As Great. Well as you. Thank you. I just didn't know what specifically I was supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Just for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Becky, awesome job running the meeting, by the way. You may have a future in it. <laughs> Thank, Great you. Job. Thank you. Great um, job. Well, I feel like, you know, I took the full 10 minutes or nine and a half to prepare, um, <laughs> mainly, mainly calling Robert to say, can you give me control or can you start this baby up? So uh, thank you. Um, and I'm going to end us now, and I appreciate everybody for um, being on today. TJ, thanks so much for presenting to us. You did a great job, and um, I'm looking forward to hearing you at um, Rotary as well. Thank you. All right, and Dick, glad you snuck in quietly. Thanks for letting me in. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, thank you much. Thank you.